Welcome to Real Estate in Real Time. I'm your host, Woody Zimmerman, here with Mark Skowalski of Remax Lakes, and welcome to the show. Here we are. Good morning. Good morning, and uh, you brought us some Remax masks. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, no, those, those are, are high cool tech for the camera. Yeah, yeah, look at that. They work great. But if I put it on, it might be kind of muffled. muffled. Yeah, it sounds like my left ear right now. <laughs> oh yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to be talking about that by your yeah. uh, hearing issue. Yeah, uh, so well, this hey, aging process really I know, stinks, right. So. I, 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 <laughs> hey, 30 years of being a drummer and having PAs and headphones on and, and PAs in my ears, I'm, I'm like right there with you. Yeah, so. well, now I have an excuse for not listening yeah, to my wife for ignoring you, what she yeah, says. That's right. Hey, I can't hear out of my left ear. Honey, Perfect. I, I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah. I don't hear you, dear. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, it seems like where everywhere you go now, you, you do see a mask. I mean, you see masks in in all the grocery stores yeah. and and all the you know Lowe's and Menards, and everybody's requiring masks now. And so, um, are more people wearing masks when they, when they go to look at homes? You know, it it's probably fifty percent. I would say as far as folks that are walking up, you know, and as an agent, as we talked about, we adapt to what the the customers are are doing. Um, I showed the other day, a lady came out, put a mask on, I put my mask on. We went in, you know, I have hand sanitizer in the car, I've got bleach wipes. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I just thought today talking about the home buying process has changed a little bit for both buyers and sellers with this pandemic thing. You know, we're all learning as we go. Yeah. There is no set, there's no playbook where we can go to the, to the shelf, pull it out and say, hey, this is what you do in a pandemic when yeah. you're trying to sell houses. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, you, when you've got an infectious disease, how do you take care of that? Mm -hmm. So, you know, the industry is adapting, businesses are adapting. You know, we're seeing more and more uh, in the last couple of weeks, you know, Owens here in Warsaw, it's now required to have a mask. Yep. I think it started Wednesday yep. um, is when it officially goes into effect. Walmart's put it out there. You mentioned some of the big box stores. There's some local stores, same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, this past weekend, we were in Cincinnati. The city of Cincinnati has made it mandatory <clears throat> for any business. If you go into the business, you have to have a mask on. You know, And it's all about public health, safety, trying to minimize this whole pandemic deal. You know, the, the impact um, of that on our society in general. You know, personally, I'm not concerned. I'm not. Uh, you know, and I, I can honestly say that, but I'm concerned about others. So that's why, you know, wearing the mask, it, it's something I just do. You know, whether I'm going into those stores, even before it was mandatory, I was putting it on because, you know, let's protect those that aren't protecting themselves, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's not like I'm, you know, preaching to folks. Everybody's getting, you know, it's a free country. We do what we want to do. And that's what we're born with. You know, that's the mentality of our country. But this is actually for the good of all of us, is mm -hmm. to put that mask on. So I'll, I'll get off my soapbox, but you know, as far as how it's going with showings, buyers have to understand that. You know, seller, you are going into someone's home. Um, they're opening their doors to let you in. If the seller has some requests for things they'd like you to do, then from a buyer's perspective, accommodate those requests. Mm -hmm. You know, I talked uh, at length before about a house I showed in North Manchester, I felt like I was going into surgery. <laughs> you know, booties, gloves, mask, you know, they had all the lights on, all these things as we went in. Well, if that's what the seller wants, and they still want to market their home, then it's up to the buyers to accommodate that. Mm -hmm. um, so as an agent, my job is to educate the buyer before we go. Because when we request those showings, we get instructions, you know, and I've seen it once. Sometimes we have to sign a form, which I think is ridiculous. But if I want to show that house, I need to sign the form that says, you know, I haven't been out of the country in the last 14 days. I haven't been exposed, you know, to anybody with the virus. I'm not exhibiting any symptoms. You know, the standard four questions that you get asked everywhere you go yeah. um, that you see mounted on all the doors. So, you know, if you're a buyer, don't take offense. They're not picking on you because they're asking you to do that. There's an actual concern from the seller's perspective of potentially contracting a virus. Mm -hmm. You know, so you've got you know, the age group, typically 65 and over, are the at, more at risk. People with health issues, they're at risk. My advice to them as sellers is if you don't need to sell right now, don't sell. Bottom line, you are going to have people come through your house that you don't know. Right. That has not changed from you know when we were showing two years ago. Right. You have people that are coming into your house that you don't know. You don't know who they've been in contact with. 
you don't, you know, they could lie on those, t- you know, so we got to sign the form. Sure. <laughs> no, I haven't been out of the country. Just got back from Jamaica. Woo-hoo. Yeah, right. You know, I, you could lie on the form. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, again, that's where for me, I'm like, what is the purpose of the form? I don't get that. Are they going to be able to actually trace back that's who, the thing. who transmitted the virus? Right. It's, it's so hard to prove. It's so hard to prove if you are exposed because of this person or this person right. or whatever. And so, uh, yeah, that's going to be very, very... But, but if you're that concerned if about you're concerned, it, if you're that concerned, then yeah, then don't sell right don't, now. Don't put your house out on the market. Right. I mean, just don't. But, you know, we're going to talk about some tips for a seller, things that they can do to help protect themselves and buyers accommodating with those requests, you know, all of those things um, throughout the rest of the show here today. Okay, sounds good. We'll be right back. You're listening to Real Estate in Real Time. Welcome back. You're listening to Real Estate in Real Time. I'm your host, Woody Zimmerman, here with Mark Skabowski. And we're talking about selling homes in a, in a COVID-19 world. And, you know, I mean, and we just talked about, like, yeah. if you're... Uh, if you're in that age demographic, older, maybe have some underlying health issues and you don't want people walking through your home, looking at your home, you know, maybe it's not the time to sell your home yeah. right now. If, if that's your situation. If that's your situation, and I get it. Maybe you do need to sell. So let's talk about some things you can do to protect yourself. Okay. Um, first is let your listing agent know these are the things that I would like to have happen. Okay. Um, you know, we'd like buyers to wear masks. And if you like the buyers to wear masks, then have some masks there. Mm-hmm. You know, they are available now. Initially, they weren't, but you can purchase masks. And you even have <laughs> free masks. <laughs> we have some free masks now. So you can purchase masks. Yep. Leave some hand sanitizer, you know, on the counter. Right. Um, when buyers come in to show, have all the lights on. Minimize the amount of touching that a buyer is going to have to do. Oh, yeah. You know, right. so have your lights already on. Um, in your showing instructions, tell the agents not to turn their lights off. My right. practice for 15 years yeah. has been when I show a house, when I leave, I turn the lights off. Right. That's respectful. Yeah. You know, but if you don't want the agent to turn the lights off because you don't want, you want to minimize the amount of stuff that they touch, mm-hmm. then put that in the showing instructions to the buyer's agent. Yeah. Good don't, idea. don't turn our lights off. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, buyers are going to want to touch doors. They're going to want to open closets and those kind of things. When I take buyers in, I say, let me open those doors for you so that I know, because I'm carrying my bleach wipes with me, yeah. so I know I can wipe those down. Leave plenty of time for showings, in between showings. You know, back in the day, we did overlapping showings. You know, it was like a carousel mm-hmm. as people went through, especially as hot as the market is right now. Yeah. But if you need it to be cleaned, clean it. Leave plenty of time between showings for the property to be cleaned again. Mm -hmm. Again, this is for a seller who's concerned about potentially getting, you know, COVID from a potential buyer coming in. So those are kind of tips for the seller. Provide the supplies that you're asking for. Um, You know, masks, hand sanitizers, booties, if you want them to have them on. Um, And again, clean, leave the lights on. And you know, you're, you're doing everything you can do to protect yourself from those buyers. Now buyers, they have to be respectful of the seller's wishes. You know, right. and I've had people like, well, I'm not going in if I don't want it, well then let's not go in. Mm-hmm. If that's the case, let's not schedule it. And my job as a buyer's agent is to at least have that discussion with them before we go. Mm-hmm. This is not the time to, well, let's just go look at it and see. If you're truly not interested, if you're just you know trying to get a feel and you're, you're not qualified to purchase that house. And we, we've we always talked about that. Oh, yeah. That pre-approval, don't, pre-approval, don't look at houses you're not qualified to buy. Mm-hmm. Now is not the time to just go, let's go take a Sunday afternoon and go look at 10 houses just because. It's not entertainment. It's a waste of time. It's and, a waste and, of time. And you're putting yourself at risk. And you're putting yourself and those sellers at risk. Yeah. So along with that, Many of the restrictions that we're getting are, we only want the agent and the decision makers there. So, and I know there's families, right? You've got mom, dad, and three kids to go into these houses. Think about a five-year-old, a four-year-old, and a three-year-old in a vacant house. Touching everything. Touching everything. Touching their mouth. Touching their mouth. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy. Right. But, you know, on a second showing, if you're really interested, then maybe. Right. You know, we still see the young couple, uh, got mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, got, got a caravan of people coming in to look at a house. 
not on the first go around. Mm -hmm. If it's something that you're truly interested in, we'll schedule that. We'll let them know we're going to have more people there and then we'll go do that. But on the initial, it should be just the decision makers to go. Now, I'm not saying people won't show you, you know, hey, I had kids, you know, I've still got kids. I've looked at houses with kids. I understand all that. Mm -hmm. Finding daycare, all those things are a challenge, but we really just need to minimize what the activity we're putting into these houses to protect the seller and protect you as a buyer as well. Yeah. So, but follow the instructions. You know, again, don't just willy-nilly go, let's go look. Be right. serious about what you're doing, you know, uh, when you're going. Protect yourself. That That's the bottom line. Follow that um, the guidelines that the seller has requested. Mm -hmm. if they want you to have a mask on, wear a mask. You know, there are ring cameras in every house, or in a lot of houses now. Yes. Stuff you're doing is being recorded, mm -hmm. right? So they know, in many cases. And when you come in, I mean, I see it. You see the display where they got all the, you know, cameras throughout the house. Don't say stuff in the house <laughs> that you don't want to give back to the seller. Right, yeah. You know, oh, I love this house. I'd pay 10 times over what they're, they're asking for, it, right? <laughs> probably not yeah. a good thing to yeah. say probably while you're not. in there. <laughs> and that goes whether we're in COVID or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, same thing. So, yeah. you know, again, just be cognizant. Showings have changed for both buyers and sellers. Um, that pre-approval, I'll beat that to death. That'll be, I think that'll probably be on my tombstone. Yeah. Get a pre-approval. Right. <laughs> you know, no showings for you. No <laughs> pre-approval, no showings for you. Uh, you know, I, I really think it will yeah. probably go, be, be out there when it's all over. Now, uh, but but the market, we got to say, you know, we're talking about all this and masks yeah. and wipes and this and that. And but the market is still... A hot market right now. Uh, it is crazy. And I told you when we were off the air, I wrote an offer for a client for a house that was on the market for four hours, yeah. 10000 over list price, and did not win. Wow. wow. 10000 over, and this is a $140,000 house. It isn't a yeah. million dollars where, you know, a small percentage. It was significant. It, I, I could not believe it. I could not believe it. 10000 over and didn't. Did not get the offer accepted. It makes me just want to sell. If I if I had a place to go, that's the challenge. I would want to sell. <laughs> that is the challenge. You know, yeah. I have that discussion with people when they're talking about listing. What's your plan? You know, mm -hmm. we get ready. That's one of the themes. One of the shows we always do. Get ready. Yeah. What are you gonna do if your house sells in four hours? Yeah. Where are you gonna go? Right. <laughs> Better have a plan. Yeah. Because it's happening. Wow. Man. <laughs> it's crazy. It is a crazy it is market. Crazy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. Hey, Mark, your contact information? Sure. Our website's uh, lakes-realtors.com. Phone number is 574-834-1233. can always email me at markskabowski at remax.net. If anybody's got any questions, be happy to answer. All right. If you come by the big white building in the North Webster, can you, can you get a mask? Uh, we'll see about getting you a mask. All right. Very good. You've been listening to Real Estate in Real Time. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Thank <laughs> you.